to the house of light, the heart of Muslims yearn from every corner of the world. The Talbiya resonates in their multitudes. From this land, the message of peace was launched. And about these territories, Muhammad, peace be upon him, said, By Allah, of all lands, you're the best and the dearest to Allah. Its visitors are Allah's guests. They have been stripped of the colors of discrimination and become united in white to achieve the ultimate objective of pilgrimage. They are arrayed in a great moving scene where an Arab has no preference over a non-Arab, nor a white over a black, except with piety. They circumambulate the ancient house. They face it in awe. They head to it in obedience. They sip from Zam Zam water. In love of this place, and its time-defying remains that witness to the oneness of Allah, the Almighty. Processions of various races are unified by faith, putting their faith over their nearest of kin, their money and assets, and the luxuries for life. They are like one body, the languages vary in letters and sounds, yet they're heard by the Creator of all tongues. He hears them closely. He answers them as He promised them. The pilgrims and visitors are guests of Allah. As they responded to His call, He shall answer their prayers. These great masses are diverged by travels but gathered under monotheism and conciliated by Islam. Their footsteps mark on the ground, but their calls echo in time. Now, the lifetime dream that kept visioning on every year is coming true. When the morning brings its spiritual brightness in Arafat, that majestic place where Allah took the covenant on all mankind, when He took them out of the loins of their father Adam and spread them in His hands like seeds, and then made them testify on themselves, Am I not your Lord? They said, Yes, we testify. Here. The scene is repeated. The disparities of the mundane vanish away. Hearts are freed from the constriction of physical mold off to the spaciousness of the Supreme One. The eyes would see no one but a devout, humble servant or someone imploring the Almighty. Hands are stretched up to the sky, eyes are blurred with tears, lips are never ceasing to remember the Lord and declare His oneness. As much as the heart is quick to respond to the Creator, love and sincerity would reflect on the faces of God lovers. Their eyes would shed tears for the joy of acceptance when the Divine Presence is felt through the air of sacredness. He takes pride in them before the angels of heaven, saying, They've come to me unkempt and dusty. I bring you as witnesses that I have forgiven them. It's a scene in which the calls of truth resonate and prayers of hope compete in its space. They seek pardon for sins and aspire for favors and gains. There is no deity worthy of worship but Allah alone, without any associate. His is the sovereignty and His is the praise. In His hand lies all goodness 
and he has power over everything. The convoy of emotions moves at the pace of hearts as it calls, O oh Allah, my prayers, my life, my death, and my return are all yours. Here, willingness is followed by forgiveness. Hope overcomes sorrow. Repentance undoes the work of Satan. It's a time when the face of the Satan is marked with humiliation and disgrace, as he has seen many that Allah freed from evil destiny. In the calmness of the night, when the pre-dawn prayers communicate with the Lord, the glad tidings of a better life unfold. This day I have perfected for you religion and completed my favor upon you and have approved for you Islam as religion. Eid is coming. The pilgrims shine with the illumination of devotion on the great pilgrimage day. Today, the hands purified with ablution will humiliate the Satan. Only seven stones are enough to do the job. The effect grows intense with Bishmila Allah Akbar uttered while throwing. They march in crowds taught by faith to walk on the path of goodness with reassurance and tranquility, to comply to the will of the Lord with ease and pleasure. With the sacrifice offered, the joy is complete. It is neither their meat nor their blood that reaches Allah but it is piety from you that reaches him. As they change attire, their whole life comes anew. Fatigue fades away with the flow of mercy, and hardship is erased by the pleasure of obedience. They poured on to the ancient house, which is the haven of security and blessing and a place of resort and guidance. They settled down by its door to go around it counterclockwise as if they were returning to the moment of the call of Abraham. Peace be upon him. They rush between Safa and Marwa and their meditated hopes will rush after them. They're now heading to a new destination. They seek comfort after satisfaction. The journey of guidance is to set with the birth of the new morning. Still, Ian has ample room for pilgrims in their colors and joys. Its days are for eating, drinking, and remembrance of Allah. They hastened to forgiveness and mercy from their Lord. He opened his doors to them and rewarded them generously. To his greatness, they knelt down in repentance and gratitude, giving up elusive haughtiness and yielding to his will. The Satan gave up any means to get to them and retracted with disgrace. With every stone they throw, every takbir they utter, and every heartfelt prayer they make, they perfect the qualities of sublimity during the appointed days. The appointed days, whose significance was to surrender to Allah's order. The pilgrims pick up stones to throw at a stone, and they go around a stone. 
it engraved in their hearts that the perfection of obedience is to submit to Allah. Once they're done with their rituals, they implore him, saying, O Lord, give us in this world that which is good, and in the hereafter that which is good, and save us from the torment of the fire. In the journey of rituals, the soul experiences what a poet can't describe. They went around the house uttering Talbiya, invoking and remembering him. They see with their insights the promised reward. They rushed between Safa and Marwa obediently. They threw stones while expressing Allah's oneness and they slaughtered their sacrificial animals, testifying His greatness. Their hearts were filled with a flood of guidance and perfection. Their faces were enlightened by light from the Lord of Majesty. Their last call is, Our Lord, accept from us. You are the All-Hearing, All-Knowing.